Hi there. My name is Father Raya Pakasi. I'm from the Diocese of Bello, Catholic priest for 33 years. Today I'm going to talk about one of the marvelous person, one who lived in the 12th and 13th centuries. His name is Saint Francis of Assisi. 800 years back, a man in love with nature. Such a great mystic. He thought and he believed that creation has rights. Every existence depends on rights. Every creature demands rights. God provides everything for them and God found whatever he created was good. Francis Assisi believes that we all belong to one family, cosmic family, in which we have only one common father we call Abba, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Such a beautiful prayer. We all call the same. We call Abba. Birds call Abba. Even snakes call Abba. Even dinosaurs called Abba. Even mosquitoes call Abba. So, he is our only father. Francis Assisi, he wrote a beautiful poem called Canticle of Creatures. Such a beautiful tribute to creation in which he calls sun, brother sun, moon, sister moon. He calls earth, mother earth. And he calls water, sister water. He calls wind, brother wind. And he calls even the ferocious wolf, brother wolf. And he calls the poor little lamp, my sister lamp. Even fire, he calls it, brother fire. At last he calls death, my sister death. Francis Assisi's notion that he includes everything in single family, relational inclusion, and we are all brothers and sisters. And uh, there is no reason that we should dominate Absolutely domination is not recommended. Only love is recommended. Understanding is recommended. Harmony with creation is recommended. And uh, it's kinship. It is solidarity with other creatures. We can have our existence only in relationship with other creatures. We can never exist without them. Just imagine today, if we disappear, if we go extinct, creation will never suffer. It's going to continue peacefully ever after. But now think about it. If they disappear, will you exist? Will you exist? We can never exist if they all disappear. So it's a small rhyme I want to teach you. You go, they don't go. They go, you go. You want to listen again? You go, you disappear. They don't disappear, they don't go. But they disappear, you disappear. You go, they don't go, they go, you go. So that is the wisdom of St. Francis 
of us, you see. A man in love with nature, compassion, conservation, everything, every time he thought about creation, he was humbled with creation. He thinks we need to have humility and simplicity in order to understand creation. That humility we need to go for a relationship. When we are humble, we can really have a relationship with nature. Such a marvelous teaching from St. Francis of Isis. 800 years back. Can you imagine? He had a such kind of vision. Today, we are even struggling today. Anthropocentrism. Man is the center of creation. And he reigns supreme. But St. Francis Assisi, he dethrones humans and he tosses them out and he puts creation in the center. So he glorifies even Mary in a Magnificat. She sings, God has lifted up the lowly and he has removed the rich and he has really helped the people of humble heart. Such a great personality, St. Francis of Assisi, he can be a good model for younger generations. Please, after listening to, to this talk, please go to Google and type St. Francis of Assisi and read about him and learn about him, especially the poem, The Canticle of Creatures. Please read it and you will be surprised and you will be enriched by reading the spirituality of St. Francis. May St. Francis of Assisi bless us all, not only human beings, bless the whole of creation. God bless you and thank you.